Now the first step is to install Vulkan and try dash Vulkan in the launch option. Now for this, you can go to Steam and uh, select the game over here and then scroll down, click on manage my DLC. And if Dota 2 Vulkan support is unchecked over here, you can put a check over here. And then once you put a check over here, it will update. So let the update complete. Once the update is complete here, you can see it's updating. Once the update is complete, now in the launch option, you have to type in dash Vulkan. So you can go to Steam, make a right click on the game and then go to properties in the launch option, type in dash Vulkan. Now you can launch the game and then check. Still not working. The next step is to try these in launch option. Now for this, you can go to Steam, make a right click on the game, select properties and in the launch option, if this does not work, then you can try these in the launch option. So, so type in dash high over here. And now you can close this, launch the game and then check if that does not work. You can type in dash high space dash window and then check if that does not work. You can remove this, type in dash dx9 over here, launch the game and then check if that does not work. Type in dash dx11, close this, launch the game and then check still not working. Type in dash dx12, launch the game and then check if that does not work. You can even try dash auto config over here. Now again, launch the game, type in if that does not work, type in dash OpenGL, launch the game. So try this, try these one by one. And once you put the entry, you have to relaunch the game and then check. You can even try this. This has also worked for many uh, players, so it might work for you. You can even try this safe mode launch option and then launch the game and then check. Now it's still not working, they can, you can remove this, follow the next step. Now the next step is to Windows 7 users install this Windows uh, platform update you can download this and then install both the files and then once the download is complete you have to run both the exe file install it on your computer and then check if that does not work install DirectX. now for this you can go to this website the link is provided in the video description copy this uh, open this link in a browser and then run this download it and run this exe file click on accept over here and then click on next and then uncheck install ring bar over here and then click on next and let the installation complete once it is installed restart again after the system restart you can check still not working install visual c plus plus file so you type in install visual c plus plus file in google search go to the microsoft website scroll down here you can see uh, x86 and x64 file you have to install both the file so click on it run this exe file if you see repair option click on repair if you see the install button, get installed. Download this x64 file as well. Again, run this exe file. If you see the repair option, click on repair. If you see the install button, get installed. And once installed, restart it. And after the system restart, you can check. If that does not work, uh, verify the game files. Now for this, you can go to Steam, make a right click on the game, select properties. Go to install files tab and then click verify integrated game files. Once the verification is 100% complete, launch the game and then check. Still not working. Perform a clean installation of your graphics card driver. So if you have NVIDIA card, go to NVIDIA website. If you have AMD card, go to AMD website. Select your graphic card over here. Select your operating system. Click on start search. And whichever is the latest graphic card driver, uh, which uh, you can install it, download it, download and then run the exe file. Click on yes to allow. Click on OK and then click on agree and continue. Select custom over here, click on next, and then put it up on the box which says perform a clean installation. Click on next. After the clean installation, restart your computer and then you can launch the game. If that does not work, next step is to run the game on dedicated graphic card. Now for this, you can type in graphic settings in Windows search box and then click on graphic settings over here. Click on add desktop app. Go to the game installation folder. In my case, the game is over here in this location. Select the game exe file, click on add. Once the game is added over here, now find the game, click on the game. Over here, select your graphic card, high performance. Select high performance, you will see your graphic card now launch the game. Still not working. Uh, update Windows to the latest version. So go to Windows Update or Update in Security and then click on Check for Update. Once all the updates are installed over here, then restart your computer. And after the system restart, you can check. Still not working. The next step is to allow the game exe file to your antivirus program. So if you have any third party antivirus like Avast, Norton, Bitdefender, McAfee, whichever antivirus program you have, allow the game exe file to your antivirus program. If you're using Windows security, uh, then go to privacy and security in Windows settings. 
Windows security over here and then click on virus and threat protection. Scroll down at the bottom, you will see manage your ransomware protection. Click on it. Click on allow an app through control folder access. Click on yes to allow. Click on add and allow an app browser apps. Again, select the game exe file. Click on that. Now launch the game. Still not working. The next step is to run the game from the game installation folder. Make a right click on the game, select manage, browse local files, and then find the game exe file over here. And then make out a graphic, launch the game from here. If that does not work, go to properties, go to this tab, put a check on the box which says run this program as an administrator, hit apply, click on OK, make out a graphic, launch the game. If that does not work, you can try this uh, disable full screen optimization, hit apply, click on OK, launch the game. If that does not work, put a check over here, select Windows 8, hit apply, click on OK, launch the game. If that does not work, select Windows 7 over here, hit apply, click on OK, launch the game, and then check. When you put a check on all these boxes, still not working, you can uncheck these boxes and then hit apply. And then try power saver mode. I forgot this. So type in control panel in Windows search box, go to control panel, go to hardware and sound, go to power options. Now over here, you will see power saver option. You might see power saver like this. So select power saver and then launch the game. If that does not work, you can even go for balance over here and then check. Now, the last step is to uninstall and reinstall the game to different drives. So if anything is working, uh, you can uninstall the game. After you uninstall the game, go to the game installation folder, delete the game folder, restart the computer, and then install the game to C drive. So if the game is installed to D drive or E drive or any external drive, try to install the game to C drive. If the game is already installed to C drive, then try to install the game to another SSD and then check. So one of the steps shown in this video should help you to run this game successfully on your Windows computer. So that'll be all. Thank you so much for your time and please like this video and subscribe to my channel.